Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? <laughs> How's everybody today? Great. Good. I'm glad to hear that. How was Hi, good evening. How was, your, how was your day today, Oscar? Well, it was busy. I'm a because I'm a driver um and I live to to Botera. I don't know how do you say pedidos. Did you remind did you uh, remind me? Pedidos. The um, yes. the I'm a driver. An order? Yes. There you go. Yes. Yeah, it brings orders. Well, well, all in the week, you know. And then, well, <laughs> yesterday was my, my birthday and well, I celebrate, well, it was good. Happy birthday. Good, okay, so you celebrated your birthday. Yeah, yesterday. <laughs> I feel old. <laughs> Why? Why do you feel old? <laughs> no, um, I don't know. The time I is I don't know is passing. <laughs> nah, I think that um, the age is well for me. I don't know. But what about you? <laughs> I, for for me, age is just a number. That's what I think. No, I, I don't I don't believe that someone is like I, I don't believe people like like are old or anything like that. Um, I think it I think you you become old depending on how you feel. If you feel old, you're gonna be old. Right? But if you feel young, I think you're gonna be young. That's my my perception anyways. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> you you agree? No, it's okay. And in the life, of, if one person is feeling uh, all this, uh, well, <laughs> every all the all the life at the end is gonna is gonna um, mm, I don't know uh, like gruñón. <laughs> like what? like Grinch, <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> yeah, no, but that's true. That, that's very true, yeah, I, I agree too. All right, well, let oh, me say bad. hi to, huh? This is bad, it's not good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I understand, yeah. But um, but yeah, no, I don't think you're, you're, you're old just because you are a certain age, I think that um it's going to depend on how you feel like there are some people that are like 20 years old and they already feel old and so they look old and then there, there are people that are like you know 70 80 years old and they feel young right so so i think it depends on how you feel and that's my perception anyways yeah all right, let me say hi to everybody else. Hi, Isael. Hi, Mauricio. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Carla. Hi, Karen. Hi, Lorena. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Um, hi, Lorena. How are you? Hi. You're very quiet there. So did I, last night I couldn't be in, in the class because my son came from Guatemala to live there. 
and on Friday, on February 14th, is his birthday. And then tonight we went to eat, celebrate his birthday. And, and then I, I came how to, I came, I came to my house uh, almost 11. But I, I, I was thinking about my class. I, I wanted to be in my class, but I couldn't. So I just thinking about you and what my classmate, I, I, I had to be the team. Um, that's oh, good. that's very sweet, Lorena. That's very, very sweet. Uh, well, we did miss you. I'll oh. tell you that much. We did miss you. Um, actually, I was I was remembering about you, and I, I was I was saying we need we we we, we need um, Lorena because I I was um, asking about uh, you know who who likes to go to parties. And oh. nobody said anything, and everybody was quiet. And I said, "Hmm, really? Nobody likes to go to a party." And then I said, "We need Lorena here because she would, she would say, yeah, party." Now, how are with with you? Uh, the one you are, you are explaining, I think you you look like you feel inside. I feel John. I like to feel John, and I want to 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 be with my capacity to do many things. And my mind do that. That if I think that, my mind help me. My body help me, and I do almost more of the thing that I did, I want to do. You know? Yeah, good for you, Lorena. I agree. I totally agree. I think. Um, it all, all depends on how you feel, right? So, and how you feel also reflects on how you look, right? So if you feel young, you're gonna look young. And if you feel old, you're gonna look old, I think. My, my, my perception anyways, yeah. Okay, well guys, um, I'm glad to, to see you guys here. Um, question. Um, no me voy a cansar de preguntarles porque necesito, uh, I want, I'm really interested in making sure everybody um, has, has done it. So I'm going to, I'm going to throw again the poll. I'm going to see, well actually, maybe not because there's only seven of you. No, never mind. I was going to do the poll um, asking you what, what sections you had covered because that was the homework. Remember I told you the homework was going to be to um, it, to to complete section four, right? That was the homework. Um, so, um, but there are only like eight of you. So maybe I'm going to postpone it um, until a little bit later when more people are here, and that way we can we can um, get a better idea of of where you guys are at. Um, uh, remember, I'm, I'm going to remind you guys, many, 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 many people have been asking me about um, the final exam section D, exercise three. And you, many people said, like, I, I can't get it correct. Uh, remember that what I told you before, that uh, the, the platform has an, an, a mistake and it's not eighth it's height so medium height not medium eighth okay so remember that remember that because um, many people are having problems and it's because of that okay so um so just just make sure that you, you remember that so, so that you don't have problems in the future okay all right any questions so far Oh, teacher. Okay, good. All right. So, um, what we're going to be doing today? So, some people were asking about um, the, the 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 exercise that we were doing um, before about. Uh, or better so the, the exercise that is in the platform 
uh, and I told you guys that we would be looking at that. Um, so I just want to make sure that everybody um, understands that all of that information, we're going to be seeing it today in class, okay? Um, just give me one second. Okay, all right, before we begin, um, I want you to understand a little bit about something. Um, first of all, I want, what we're gonna do, do you have, have you guys ever heard of the past participle? Nobody has ever heard of the past participle? When you learn the past, always have the present, the past, and the past participle. Then you, you learn the, 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 two, the two ways. Exactly. Yes, exactly. So it, when you're learning the verbs, you will notice that there are three categories. We have the first category is the, the verb, right? The, the base form. The second category is the, um, the simple past, right? And the third category is the, um, the base form. Sorry, 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 the base form, the, the past participle, okay? Now, something great about regular verbs is that with regular verbs, um, you do not have to um, worry about um, the, the past participle because it's exactly the same as the simple present. Sorry, the simple past, sorry, the simple past. So question, what would the past participle of work be? Work, work, work. Sorry, could you repeat that, Lorena? Work, work, work. Exactly. Work, work, worked. Right? Work. So work, worked, work. It's the same. What's the past participle of play? Okay. Can you play? Play. Sorry, Anna, can you repeat? Play, play. Right, played. It's going to be the same, right? Now, what you do have to be careful with, though, is with the past, the past participle of irregular verbs. Okay, that's what you have to work on. The past participle of irregular verbs. Why? Because with irregular verbs, um, what's going to be different, right? It's going to be completely different. Some of them may be the same as the the past form. For example, um, read, okay? Like read. Read, it would be read, read, and read, which is the same. So some of them are exactly the same, but others are different, okay? Uh, are completely take, different. For example, take. The, we have take, and then we have took, and then we have past participle taken. Taken. Yeah, taken. Take. Teacher, okay. sorry. Um, para entenderle mejor, eh, eh, cree que puede escribirlo en el chat. Eh, ese participle particip o part no, no le entiendo cómo. Participle. Past, past participle. Past participle. Okay. What I'm, I'm going to I'm do I'm going to do something even better. Okay. okay. Instead of writing it down. Uh, yes. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Lorena. 
Okay, instead of writing it down every part of past participle, I'm going to be sending you a list, okay? So just give me one second. Okay, I'm going to be sending you a list. Um, End of chat. And what I need you to do is to study the list. Okay. Um, uh, this is for irregular verbs, not for all the verbs, just for irregular. Okay. Um, so, just give me a second. Dry. Huh? Dry. Uh, yes, it could be. It could be dry. Yes. Just give me a moment, or will I send it to you guys? Um, You should have received there the list. Can everybody see it? Yeah. Oh, yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna be working with, um, a, we're gonna be working with a partner. I don't know if I've I, I've done this in the past. I, mm, I might have. I think I've, we've been like playing like a. Ping pong? Have we have we played ping ping pong with verbs? I'm not sure if I have in the past. Okay, but anyways, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sign you to work with a partner, and you're gonna be playing ping pong with your partner. How are you gonna be playing ping pong with the verbs? So you're gonna be saying, for example, your partner. You're gonna say to your partner, like you're gonna be looking at the verbs and you're gonna say, um, like do. Past participle of do, done. Right? Your partner is going to say done. Then you're going to, your partner is going to say, okay, um, begin. And you're yeah. going to do past participle begin, begun. So what you're going to do is you're going to be going back and forth. So you tell your partner a sentence, or sorry, a, a, a verb. Your partner tells you the past participle. And then your partner tells you the, the, the verb. And then you are going to be telling the past participle. So you're going to go back and forth. Does that make sense? Yes. Is that um, for everybody? Yes, teacher. There we go. Okay, perfect. All right, so we are going to divide the class. Everybody should have, should be able to see the list in, in the WhatsApp group. Um, so let me make the groups. Give me a moment. Okay, I have opened up the group so you can go ahead and join your partner.
dices en past participle o tú me dices un verbo en, en la forma simple, así entendí yo, y yo te contesto el past participle. Ok. Mm. En yeah. el dream, por ejemplo, el dream. Uh, dream. Dream. No, past participle eh, dream es drunk. Ah, drink. Ah, ok. No encontraba la palabra. Lo que sucede es que cambia un poco más cuando son verbos irregulares. Ah, es. es, es uh -huh. Por ejemplo, eh, call de llamar, eh, call es llamar, eh, es regular, pero. Eh, el past participle es caller, lleva ID como que fuera un past simple. Oh, ok. Ah, pero si es eh, un verbo irregular, el past participle sí cambia la palabra bastante. Entonces, hoy tú pregúntame uno a ver si. In past simple, ¿verdad? Yes. Right? Ok. Um... Did. 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 Uh -huh. Ah, el auxiliar. Ese es un auxiliar. Ah, simple. Did. Uh, D-I-D. What do you mean, did? No. Did. In infinitive is do. In past simple is did. 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 Um, did is, is quiero ver. Um, do, did. Did. No, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. The, the teacher sent a picture in WhatsApp group. Oh, okay. I don't see, uh, I don't see WhatsApp. <laughs> <laughs> I don't say es porque es pasado. I don't know. Que ando un ron ron que me está aturdiendo aquí. <risa> WhatsApp. Vamos a ver qué dice la teacher. Ah, ok, ya, picture, ve. Uh -huh. Did you find it? Did, 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 en past participle. Vamos a buscarlo en pasado simple. This. Did. Don. Uh -huh. <laughs> did, don. Y, y, y es say. Pasado simple. Nada de relación esto. Don. Did don. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Este. Eh, grow. Grow. Uh, grow. 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 Uh, grow. No, es grill, grill. El pasado simple es grill. No, es, we don't want simple past. We want past participle. Ah, oh, es pa, simple past y past participle. No, only the past participle. Only. Y, y, only y, past participle. Entonces no tendríamos que decir 
past simple with past participle. No, just just say, for example, but you say do, y la otra dice does. Then you say, then that person says uh, be, and the other one person says been. Ah, in infinitive. Yes, infinitive. Ah, okay. <laughs> Okay. Ah, o tú vas a decir en past participle y yo te digo en infinito. Mm -hmm. Keep it in English, Ana. <laughs> <laughs> eh, okay. Eh, bit, beating, beating. Bite or, or beat. Biting or beating, teacher. You pronounce it bitten. Bitten. An infinitive? Bite. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, break. Break? Break. Um, broken? Mm hmm Broken. Yes. And by. Uh, about. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Pay no it is it the Hey, the te poner atención, creo. Pay es también no, ah, sí, pagar. El otro es poner cuando se sí. dice pay attention, sí es como poner atención. ¿Cuál? Read. 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 Y el otro es spent. Spent. Uh, sell. Perdón. Sell. De vender. Sell. Ah, sold. Understand. <laughs> Understood. Sí. Write. Write. Written. Uh -huh. Written. Uh, win. Mm, won. Sen. 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 Yes. Sleep. Slept. Is a shown. Sing. Sing. Okay. Speak. Spoken. Um, fall, F A A L L, Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Can you repeat that? Fallen. 
good. Fallen, yes, very good. Say. Repeat. Say. Taking. Fly. 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 F L. Why? It's fly. Fly. The meaning is volar. Okay. So, how can how can I uh, write this word? Seeing with with ing. Uh huh. Well, mm, but it, let me see. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me tell you. It's the. Let me see. See in is. No, no. Sorry. See. No problem. In. In. No. Being is like, like, like view, sight, vision. Mm -hmm. But yes. no, no, oh, la, la, like a picture. Ajá, es que eso es lo que justo tengo yo aquí el, el, el gran duda. Well, okay, oh, other, me... other verb, uh, ajá, uh -huh. other verb. Oh, yeah, it's okay. Uh, let me see, show. Show. Give me a second. Give me a second. Okay. I don't see the. Run. Run. Boom. Cut, cut, cut. Run, run, run. Call. Okay. Put, put, put. Get got got. And you? Um, okay. You heard heard. Uh, try try to go back and forth instead of saying all of them at the same time. Go back and forth. So, for example, Lorena, you say, um, you say, write, and Eduardo says written, and that, then Eduardo I, says I, and then you mm -hmm. say bought. Okay, so go back and forth like that. Yes, yes, thank you. It's, it's the one that I'm reading. Yeah, you don't have to say the, the both things, the both, the, sim, the past simple. Okay. Yes, I, I'm asking you, like I uh, say, right. And you have to say? Yes. Reading. Because right. I'm asking you, right? Reading. Now, now you. Um, live, left, left. Yes, I live, and I say left. And yes. Now, see.
What? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, so. Oh, so sing. Yeah, sing. Sing, sing. Yeah, the, the, the past participle. Now you? No, I understand. Uh -huh, she says that, that we don't we'll, practice the, the, the two forms. Just she yeah. so seen. What she's, she's there after just the infinity and the yes. past party. Mm -hmm. No, the two forms. Okay. Okay. Now your turn. Paid meet uh, paid. 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 Yeah, paid. Pronounce it. Paid. 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 Not paid. No, not paid. Pay. Pay. Paid. Paid. Pay. Paid. 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 Yeah, correct. Pay. Paid. Mm -hmm. uh, um. Rain? Room. Sorry? Rain? Rain? Room. Run. Run. Room. Teacher is wrong. Yes. Room. Teacher? Are you yeah. there? What is your question, Lorena? Because uh, he says green and I say run, run. What is the correct pronunciation? It's run or run? Mark these here. It's, uh, you say, okay, it's run is the, the infinitive. And um, again, the past participle is run. Okay, so where are we, run. Where are we, sorry, where are we the verb R, I, and G? Green, wrong. I didn't understand your question. Uh huh. The pronunciation with the verb R I N G. Green, wrong. Oh yeah. Uh, ring, wrong, wrong. Wrong. All all of the ones that have an a new is like a a no. Like ah uh, ah. Uh, you say ang. Um, like wrong. Um. Like a like wrong. Uh, swum. Okay. Okay. Like, okay. like swim, swum, swum. Yeah, correct. Okay. Okay, another one. Did Eduardo? Los, los. 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 Yes. Give lost. Let me let me find it. Lost. 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 Yes. Now. Lost. 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 Mm -hmm. Slept. No, sleep. Oh. Sleep. Sleep. Okay. Sleep. Mm -hmm. What is the answer? Mm -hmm. Tell, tell. Tell. Yes. Tell. Let me find tell. Tell, tell. Ah, but you have to tell me tell. Tell. Yes. And I'm going to ask you tell. Tell. Mm -hmm. So, in five,
Okay, so has everybody had the opportunity of um, being able to to practice those those structures? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Very very good. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to be um, explaining. Now that you understand a little bit of what is the past participle, let's find out what we use it for, okay? So I'm going to right now um, share with you um, the whiteboard and please tell me when you are able to see it. now okay perfect so since you're able to see it um, let me start here um, so we're going to be um, okay so we're going to be talking about here what we call the present perfect okay have you ever heard of the present perfect or is this something completely new to you Okay, so this is something new to you, or do you have you heard of this before? Oh, I am also. You've heard of it before? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, so the present perfect. There are different reasons why we're going to be using the present perfect. Okay. There are different reasons. Now, the reason why I, I asked you to be able to uh, first um, try to remember what the past participle is is because we need the pres we need the past participle in order to create the present perfect. Now, the first reason why we're going to be looking at reasons why we use the present perfect. Okay. The first reason why we use it is because in a moment. Okay, so the first reason why we're going to be using it is because when it express oh, let me just take that away. To to express and um, or actions uh, beginning in the past. Yeah, beginning in the past and continuing until the present. Okay. So when there is an action that began in the past, but it has a connection with the present because it continues in the present, that's one of the reasons why we use the present perfect. Okay, that's one of the reasons. Okay, and I'll give you some examples there so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, for example, we can say um, a, I have, I have, or better said, yeah, I have uh, worked. 
at this store for um, eight months. So working at that store, working at the store, it started uh, eight months ago, right? So the first time you started working at that store was eight months ago. And, but you continue working at that store. You have not finished working at that store, okay? So this began in the past, but it continues to the present. Is that okay? Is that clear for everybody? So far so good? Yes? You can put other example? Oh, of course, of course. I'm just asking you if you understand the idea. Is that clear for everybody, the idea? The definition, yes. But the example, I think it um, is not so clear. Sorry, Honestly, like, not much, but I try to <laughs> understand. Okay, so what I'm saying is, so this is it's to express an uh, actions beginning in the past and continuing to the present. So the actions, all of these actions started in the past and they continue until the present. So if I say I have worked at the store for eight months, that means I started working at the store eight months ago. So eight months ago would be like in June. Okay, so I started working there in June. June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January. Okay, and or, okay. Yeah, maybe we started at the end of June. Okay, so we started working there eight months ago. And we continue working there. Okay. How would you say this in Spanish? Maybe that will help. How would you say this sentence in Spanish? Yo he trabajado en esa tienda por ocho meses. Right. Yo he trabajado en esa tienda por ocho meses. Mm -hmm. So that means you start in the past and until this moment you continue. Does that make sense? But, but no, when you read, read the, the, the sentence, don't, don't look like you are right now, continue working in that. It, it's like you finish. I have worked in this store for eight months. He trabajado, like, you finish. He trabajado, he, he trabajado en, esta, en esta tienda, he trabajado en esta tienda por ocho meses. So what you're saying is, in this moment, I continue to work here. I started eight months ago and I continue. Does that make sense? But I can say too, I, I, I work. No. Yes, you can. But okay. what you're what you're doing here is you're emphasizing how long. How long? Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. It's mostly. Yes, that's fine. Like there's no problem saying I, I, I work right in the, at the store. But if you say, but if you want to say how long it's been, you would have to say, well, you have to you have to use the present perfect. So I have worked at the store for eight months. Okay. I'll give you another example. Um, we have no. Let's see. Um, she has dated him since uh, high school. You understand date, right? To date someone? Cita, salir, andar. <laughs> yeah, to be boyfriend and girlfriend, right? So she has dated him since high school. That means she started dating him in high school in the past, right? And then she continues dating him up to now, until the present. Does that make sense? So far, so good? Yes, I understand. Yes, it is. 
<laughs> Good. Okay. All right. Um, so these, both of these action started in the past and they continue up to the present. And if you notice, both of them use the present perfect. How do you create the present perfect? Well, first of all, we need to use, uh, well, A second okay so first of all the first thing you have to do is make sure that we use have in the correct form so we can either have have or in the case of the third person singular we're going to be have we're going to be using having oh, sorry So we're going to use either have or has, okay? And then after that, we're going to be using, and be careful about this, it's not the simple present, sorry, it's not the simple past, it's going to be the past participle. It's past participle. I know that worked, um, I know that worked and, and uh, dated are regular verbs, and that's why they look the same as a simple past, but it's actually the past participle. Okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. I understand, teacher. It's clear for everybody? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Teacher. Okay, good. Now, like I, like I mentioned before, just a few minutes ago, um, it's possible to use just a simple present and say, I, I, ha I, work, I work at the store for eight months. That's okay. Or she could say, she dates, um, she dates him, and that's okay. But if we want to emphasize how long it's been, then what we do is we have to use the past participle. Sorry, the present part is, uh, the, sorry, uh, the present perfect. This is emphasizing how long. Notice, how long has she, do, has she done that? For eight months. How long has she dated him? Since high school. So those are two, word, two ways that we can express how long something has been done. Now, notice that in order to tell us how long, we use, we can either use the word for, or we can use the word since. Now, question, anybody know what is the difference between using for and using since? For is um, like a count, is science is um, this day. Um, kinda, kind of. Basically, the difference is that we use for when we're talking about a period of time. Okay, so I'm actually going to write this down. Okay, um, let, let me write. Sign if for use it uh, during a specific time. Right, yeah, okay, I'll get to that in a moment. Just give me a second. Um, okay, so I'm gonna, so I'm going to write here for, um, for is for is used for a period of time. And when I say a period of time, what I mean is like it could be, for example, it, there are, let me write down. It could be seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, years, decades, 
uh, centuries and millennia. Uh, millennia. Infinity. Okay. Sorry. Infinitive time. Uh, okay, that's another function. That's another function. We're just going to concentrate on this in this moment. Okay. Okay. So, okay. But but yes, you're right. You're absolutely right. But but um, we're going to concentrate on this. So four is used for a period of time. So when we're talking about four, like how long? Four seconds. Uh, Ten minutes. Nine hours. Uh, two days. Uh, in five weeks seven months, nine years, two decades, uh, four centuries, two millennia, okay, etc, etc. So we can use four with any one of these. So far so good, do we understand that? Is that clear? Yes, no? Teacher, I have a one sentence. Okay. Well, I don't know if it's correct, but I have, I have started at this moment for six years. Right, yeah, I have studied, yeah, for six years, yes, that's, that's fine, yeah, very good. Um, yes, very good, very, very good. Um, so, just keep in mind that um, that we use four for, you know, periods of time, okay? Let me now show you um, okay. Let me now show you why we use a since. And somebody already mentioned this before, and I'm just going to um, verify that we use since Or, or since is used for a specific time in the past. Okay. So this is when we when we were starting something at a specific time in the past. In the case of uh, of she dated him, when did she start dating him? In what moment of the past did she start dating him? The beer, birthday. Sorry. For example, in birthday, happy birthday, a specific day. Okay, the birthday. Yes, just the birthday because happy yes. birthday is feliz cumpleaños, right? So, um, just yes, the birthday, yes. right? But in the case of. In the case of she has dated him, when did it start? Anniversary. No, what was the specific moment that she started dating him? I get married. November. My day born. Or centuries. Okay, bye. I'm, I'm going to ask this another way. <laughs> Creo que quizá mi pregunta no es muy clara. I'm going, I'm going to... I'm going to try to, to, to ask the question again, okay. In the sentence, in this particular sentence that we have here, let's see, okay. In this particular sentence that I have here, okay, the question is when did she start dating him? When did she start? In the high school? Exactly. She started in high school. Yeah, that moment was the moment that she started to date him in high school. Things are high school. Yeah, high school. You understand high school? Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. Or uh, wearing date? Voila. 
No, because my question is, ¿desde cuándo empezó ella a, a salir con él? No, va a salir desde la boda, ¿verdad? Y si, y si, y si digamos, cuando se casan y tienen como una fecha en específico. <laughs> I've been married since November. No, my, my question is, ¿desde cuándo empezaron a salir? Since high school. Does since that, that make sense? I don't know. Yes. Okay, so if the question is, since when did they start dating? When, when did they start dating? The answer is, since high school. Desde la secundaria, right? Desde ahí empezaron a, a salir. Does that make sense? Yes, yes. teacher. Okay, so this is a specific time in the past. High school was a specific moment in the past, right? So since high school, we can say since high school, since 2001, since, um, since uh, last year, since um, I was a child, since my brother came home, etc., etc. But there's a specific time in the past, okay? Then that's, that's the moment when we use the word since, okay? Now, just to review, what is the structure of the, of the, simp of this, of the present um, perfect? Can anybody help me with that? Mm. Subject and um, verb. Plus verb, plus. Okay, verb, what verb? What exactly, what verb is that? Subject, auxiliary. What's the verb that we use? Plus participle. Okay, again, I repeat. The verb, what's the verb that we use after the subject? Have or has. Exactly, exactly. So we're gonna either we're gonna be using the verb have. Have can either be in the present, sorry, in the sorry, it could be either have or has or negative haven't or hasn't okay all right so when i say have it can i'll repeat it could be have or have. haven't okay or has or hasn't. hasn't okay so it can be any one of those Okay. Must. Right? And then after that, what what goes after that? Verb. Very participle. Okay, good. Yes, the verb in the past participle. And what's after that? My compliment. compliment. Yeah, right. The compliment. Although, uh, always remember that what I've told you before, compliment is not necessary, but it is possible to put it. Okay. So this is the structure that we're going to be using. Um, this is the structure for the for the present the present uh, sorry the, yeah the present perfect okay and the, I'm giving you the pre, the affirmative and negative right because actually let me go back and fix that so just so that you don't get confused. that off okay so you go so uh, it can be subject plus have it could be have in any form 
have or haven't, has or hasn't, and then past participle and the complement. Okay, so that's how we're going to work with it. Um, now, in the case, Um, now, in the case of a question, what's going on? There we go. That's better. In the case of a question, what would be the structure of a question? I will have a question. Question. Have or has at the beginning. Question. The question is going to start with have or has. So, um, so any any form of have, right? So it can either be um, have or has. Okay. Never, never, never make it um, negative, right? So we're not going to say haven't or hasn't. All right, yes, and after that, what comes after that? Subject. Subject. Subject, very good. After that, what comes after that? Verb, past participle. Must complement. Last question, Mark. Right, don't forget the question mark, right? Okay, that would be the, the, that would be for the questions. And answers, how do you form answers for the, the, the present perfect? You. Yes or no? Plus have or haven't? Yes, I have. Yes, yes, subject. Yes, plus subject plus. Not verb. Must complement. No, just a short answer would be just yes plus subject plus have or has. So. Ah, yes. uh, short. Okay. Yes, I have. No, no have. subject. Okay. Or yes, she has. No, she hasn't. And in the case yes. of no, no, subject must be verb. She haven't. Oh, she hasn't. Right. Okay. So in this case, it would be either, either she um yes. Right, and subject plus have or has, or no plus subject plus haven't or hasn't. There you go. Okay, any questions so far? No teacher. No teacher. Okay, good. All right, so I'm going to stop sharing now with you guys now. And I want you to practice this. Um, you have some exercises in the platform that you can start practicing. We haven't seen everything. There is still some information that, um, that uh, you need for to complete uh, section number five, but you should be able to complete part of the exercises, okay? So I'll let you know, I'll actually write it in the, in the WhatsApp group, which sections you can start working on already, okay? Any questions before we leave? No question, teacher, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. All right, guys, take care. It's been a pleasure. Have a good, a good night. Good night. Thank you, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.